let me ask you, how do those words make you feel? Motivated and challenged or discouraged and defeated? So many Christians don't experience true transformation in their life. They get stuck in their old habits, old behaviors, and reoccurring sins. But let me ask, is that true for you? Is a changed life like a Christian ideal are you actually experiencing in your life today? I think we've got it all wrong in the spiritual life. We've unconsciously believed that spiritual activities and keeping of rules is the pathway to life change. But we don't understand who we are in Christ, what we already possess, and how to allow Jesus to live his life through us. As a result, most Christians aren't experiencing lasting life change. After pastoring for over 30 years, I see three typical responses to these spiritual challenges. Number one, people try really hard. They get frustrated and they're exhausted in their spiritual lives. Second, others say, I just can't do this anymore. I can't live the life, and they walk away from the faith. And third, there's others who just give in, and they decide, I can't do it, but I'm just going to fake it. They aren't experiencing personal transformation, but they pretend like they are. God wants and promises just the opposite. God's goal is a brand new you that thinks and acts and feels differently because the Spirit of God is transforming you from the inside out. We all get stuck in certain seasons of our lives and we don't fully experience God's power. But how do you break through the barriers that are keeping you from this new life? Well, I invite you to join me on a journey through Ephesians chapter 4, where in a culture completely hostile to the gospel, the Apostle Paul teaches new Christians how God can transform them, empower them, and use them to transform their world. It's amazing what happens when Christians really live like Christians.